Hey guys, how's it going? Corey and Joey here. Welcome back to another edition of Tackle Warehouse First Look, iCast edition. Here we're bringing the first look at all the new products coming out. How's it going, Joey? It's going pretty good, Corey. Yeah. The future is looking so bright. <laughs> I've got to wear shades. And the future wow. is looking so bright because we have Bassmaster Classic champion, Mr. Casey Ashley on to talk about some Costa sunglasses today. Very cool. Casey, how's it going? Good, guys. How y'all doing? Not too bad. Like I said, we're getting ready to out to iCast right now, or in two weeks here, and doing this. Are you on your way out to iCast, or what's your plans for iCast, Casey? Yes, I'm going to iCast. Um, we're actually, we got a pretty busy month this month. Uh, we're supposed to go to the Bahamas but before iCast, and then straight from there, coming to iCast. And, you know, I'm kind of excited to go, because we, we all missed it last year. Um, everything was virtual, so it's going to be cool to see everybody again. You do any fishing down in the Bahamas? You just got to be hanging out, having a good time. We will probably try to find our way onto a boat somehow, but just be taking the family and, you know, a couple buddies of mine, their kids and, and my kids. So we're going to just beat it up, man. Nice. Casey, I do always try to squeeze a little fishing into any, <laughs> any family vacation. Uh, I, I hear you there. <laughs> it's hard not to. Hey, I've got it made as far as that goes because my little boy loves it. I mean, he wants to fish from daylight to dark, so it won't be hard to talk him into going fishing. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Great. You got yourself a little fishing buddy. I'm sure he's got uh, some, <laughs> some little fishing buddy uh, Costa glasses on while he's doing it. And, and we're here today to talk about the new uh, Blackfin Pro and Fantail Pro sunglasses. Absolutely. So the Pro is probably everybody's favorite. It's been all the rays since it came out. And I actually got to spend a good little, good bit of time with them in the Bahamas, actually wearing them, using them. And, uh, you know, that was back in the, in the, in the winter time when it was super cold here and we were living it up down there wearing the Pro Series. But man, it's a, it's a pretty cool frame. Everybody thinks, you know, Costa's got it all figured out and, and there's no way they're going to make anything that's better. But, well, they did. Um, they listen to all the pros and everybody there. They they fish. They're outdoorsmen. They wear glasses. They know what's going on. And they're always looking to make things better. Uh, but, you know, the, probably the biggest feature that everybody really loves, because everybody's face is different, um, the nose piece, it's adjustable. I don't know if y'all can see that in here, but, I mean, you can, you can squeeze them together. You can push them back apart. Um, so it, it'll help more frames fit more people. You know, a lot of times folks, they'll order glasses and they'll get them and they don't quite fit just right. And now Costa fixed that with the adjustable nose piece. And it's, all, it's also got a lot of cool features. It's got, a, it's got new rubber, which makes it light. But the more you sweat, uh, the more that stuff sticks. So your glasses never fall down, slide down on your nose. Um, and also, when you're out in, in the heat, summertime, whether you're offshore, freshwater fishing, uh, they built in sweat channels. And, man, this is really cool because if you do sweat, if you can see this, there's a channel that runs down the arm, and it actually dumps it out in the back. Also, you know, if you're running down the lake like I do sometimes, and I'm, I'm a very cold nature guy, um, so when it gets chilly in the morning, you know, you, your eyes always tear up. And... They put this down here. It's all, I call it a drain, but it's not. Uh, it just keeps from tears or rain or sweat from pooling up under your, on your face, so you got to pull the glasses back down. So a lot of cool features with the Pro. And another cool thing is everybody wants to wear crokies because they're the deal. Um, also, it keeps you from losing your expensive sunglasses, but they're always aggravating to get them on. <laughs> so now they come out with a metal, uh, cool-looking hole you can put fishing line through it you can tie just about whatever and make your own croaky out of you don't have to slip it over the top anymore and that, that's that's a pretty cool feature i think that is pretty cool it sounds like they've addressed a lot of the the practical mm -hmm. fishing concerns mm -hmm. that you might not think about when you're yeah. buying a, a pair of sunglasses but you know we've all been out there as as casey suggested the that early morning run uh, or or uh it, you know middle of dog days of summer and you uh you you're, you're just fogging up your glasses because you're sweating so yeah. bad. Uh, sounds like these, these new pro frames have addressed a lot of that, Corey. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, features I wouldn't even think about, I mean, the nose piece itself, but actually all those little features like the sweat channel, just something I would never have thought of and, and now really appreciate and definitely want to pick up a pair. 
Uh, and, and within those new frames, Casey, there's a few new frame models, correct? We have the Black Fin Pro and the Fantail. Can you tell us, I guess, a little bit, we got the Fantail here a, a little bit about, I guess, that frame. I guess we, or we could just show us not much talk about it's a new frame design, I guess, but uh, it's different size, I guess, and different style well, more than anything. Yes, the, the Fantails is probably what I wear the most, but mm. uh, unfortunately, at the St. Lawrence River last week, um, <laughs> mine are at the bottom of it. Um, you know, Casey, they do make these cool little things you put croquis on right here, so you don't have yeah. to worry about them falling off. Uh, just, I don't know, just an idea. Well, I'm going to tell you, it was so rough, the croquis didn't do me any good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I got a new pair in the mail, hopefully, and uh, but the, the Fantails, to get back to the frame, they're a little smaller frame. So, you know, smaller faces, skinnier faces. Um, and, and the black fin, you get a little more coverage, but, you know, they're made for, you know, a different style. But I do wear both. Uh, the black fin was what I was showing a while ago. And the reason I do like those is they give you just a little more coverage. And what I mean by coverage is they block a lot of the sun. That's a bigger frame. But, uh, but yeah, it's just a, a matter of what everybody wants. You know, everybody likes a different different style and uh they are pretty stylish and this is the black fin ones here guys see they are a little bit bigger uh than the other ones there sure and and you know casey you talked a little bit about the the adjustable nose piece there and fitting more size heads i guess there's probably not two better hosts to illustrate that <laughs> than basketball head Corey schmidt and peanut head joey reggio so uh it, you know we both started off wearing these uh glasses they were yeah. both comfortable fits um, you know, th thanks to this new adjustable uh, nose piece on these these pro frames. So that that's a great advancement. Uh, you know, in in what we thought was was a finished technology in sunglasses. So that's great. And, and Casey, I just want you to talk just for a second about the lenses, the glass. Uh, you, some of these some of these Costa frames are available in six, seven, eight different styles of glass. Can you tell us a little bit about from a fishing perspective? when you're going to choose which, which is the best all around and, and which is best for certain situations? Well, the, the all the pro series come in 580G. I mean, that's, that's what they come in. A lot of the other ones, you know, they make polycarbonate lenses and all that. You have choices. But me, I'm wearing glass all the time. Number one is they're almost indestructible unless you drop them, step on them, you know, actually break the glass. But the 580 technology in most of lenses are, it's, I try to explain it. I sat in a class one time at, in Daytona when it was in Daytona with all the, the engineers and stuff that came up with the 580 technology. And they told me a lot of stuff that I never even gathered. It, it wasn't even English, but I can put it in layman terms. It's like living life in HD television. I mean, that's, that's how clear they are. Also, uh, I'm colorblind. I'm, I'm really... I have a hard time seeing, you know, things that are browns, greens, that type of stuff, <laughs> which is not very good for me because I think they're, you know, they're brown and green. But, um, yeah, that, that glass makes things pop, makes colors pop more so for me. And that's why I wear 95% of the time I'm either wearing the copper or the sunrise just for that color contrast. That, that's what helps me see. Yeah, I mean, all the guys here that have the, the, the Costa lenses, they all gravitate towards the Costas, really just because talking to guys like you and some of the pros just recommend, hey, the 580G is the glass to go with, and, and guys really like it. Um, and we're pretty excited to check them out. And there, and this year, there are some new lens color options as well, correct? There's a, the copper silver mirror, and then the gray copper silver mirror, or sorry, black copper silver mirror and gray copper silver mirror. I have the, the black copper silver mirror here, I guess, what's the, the difference with these ones? And uh, tell us a little bit about them. So the gray silver mirror is, you know, everybody most time when they think of gray, uh, they're either everyday glasses or they're offshore fishermen. And, you know, there, there wasn't much in between because if you got gray, you either got plain gray or you got um, blue mirror. And blue mirror, man, is, is really, really dark. I, I really don't even own a pair because they're so dark for me. I, I don't, I don't have any use for them. Um, but I have looked through them. The silver mirror is not quite as dark as the blue mirror, but still it's for high bluebird, super bright days, being on the blue water, you know, offshore fishing, that type of stuff. Cause it does give you a lot more protection and darks it down. Very cool. Thanks for taking us through that. Yeah. It, it can be a little impenetrable sometimes when you're, uh, 
uh, when you're shopping sunglasses to, to, to make that investment in a good pair and know that you're getting uh, uh, not just the right frame style, uh, mm-hmm. but, but also the right lens style. Yeah. Yeah. And it matters too. Like I said, there's different different lens for every options. I mean, there's some that are good for everything, that some that excel at you know other things. So having the right uh, you know lens color is important, but uh, having quality glasses is, is is even more important. And it looks like Kills has really addressed that. Even you thought they had you know the perfect glass, and they, now they've even stepped it up again and really improved on what they've had in the past. Absolutely. Casey, thanks. thanks so much for taking us through the glasses. We'll look forward to seeing you at ICAST this year. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I will see y'all there, and I appreciate y'all having me. All right. Have a great vacation beforehand. And all, guys, all the glasses you want to check out are available right now for purchase on Tack Warehouse, so make sure to check them out. All right. I'm Joey. This is Corey. Thanks so much, Casey. Uh, we'll see you soon, and thanks for tuning in to Tack Warehouse First Look. Thank see you, guys. guys. Thanks, sir.